Hi everyone, this is Raghuram, Aptitude Trainer. Now we are going to see speed mass, some techniques on speed mass. So we learn about uh, squares of some numbers. We can find up to 125 squares. I will tell you some tricks. Okay, now let us see the first tip. Oh, the numbers end with 5. I will take a small number, 15. The digit end with 5. The squares end with 25. Okay, and see this digit and what is the next number of 1 is 2. So 1 into 2 is 2. So 15 square is 225. Like this we shall take another example 35 square. The digit end with 5. The squares end with 25. And we take this number 3. 3 next number is 4. 3 4s are 12. So we take 12. That is 35 square is 1225. Okay, so let us take another example, a bigger number, 85 square. What is 85 square? Large digit end with 5. So square end with 5. 8 next number is 9. 8 nines are 72, 7225. And I will take another number, 105 square. So the digit end with 5. So square end with 25. The remaining digits are 10. Number 10. 10 next number is 11. 10 11 is 110. So the answer is 11,025. Like this we can do the squares end with 5. Okay. We shall take a, uh, another tip. With the numbers nearer to 50. That is 40 to 50 and 50 to 60. Let us take a number 50 to 60. Some number I will take 53 square we need to find 53 square 53 is nearer to 50 so we take the base as 50 and 53 is how much bigger than 50 plus 3 okay now plus 3 so always the numbers and and uh, nearer to 50 we take always 25 add this uh, addition or subtraction so 225 here addition 25 plus 3 is 28 and 3 square is 9. I will take 0 9 because we need 2 digits. Lost to 2 digits. In the same way if we take a 47 square which is nearer to 50 and 57 is how much bigger than 57 and always add to 25. 25 plus 7 is 32 and 7 square is 49. So 3249. Like this we can take another example which is below 50. 50 that is 40 to 50 I'll take 48 square to find 48 square 48 is how much be lesser than 50 minus 2 so always subtract or add to 25 so 25 minus 2 is 23 and 2 square is 4 I'm taking 2 digits here we need 2 digits that's why you will take like this so 2304 is the square of 48 now I will take another number 42 which is also nearer to 50 and 42 is how much lesser than 50 is minus 8 and always take 25 as a uh, base so 25 minus 8 to subtract minus 8 minus 7 that is nearer to 10 what do we do first subtract 10 and add 2 so minus 10 plus 2 is 8 minus 8 Directly minus 8 is somewhat typical. So I will take 25 minus 10 is 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. Like this we can do first. And next is 17. So 25 minus 8 is 17. 8 square is 64. So 42 square is 1764. And like this we can find squares from 40 to 60. Which is nearer to 60. So we can find uh, the same processor, we can use uh, the same processor to find the squares from 30 to 40 as well as 60 to 70. Let's let us take another number which is uh, between 60 to 70. To find the squares from 60 to 70 we need the squares of uh, from 10 to 20. I will take a number from 60 to 70. Let us take randomly 64 square. We need 50, 64 square. We take 50 as base, same method and 64 how much bigger than 50 is plus 14 always add to 25 25 plus 14 is 39 and 14 square is 
196. Here we need to know the squares from 10 to 20. So that we can find from 60 to 70 as well as 30 to 40. If we know 10 to 20. Like this, 196, 14 square is 196. Here we need only two digits, that's why I'm writing the third digit here. 100 to place 1, above 9, and add 9 and 1. That is, we get 4096. That is, 64 square is 4096. Like this, I'll take another number, 69, which is nearer to 50. And 69 is how much bigger than 50 is? Plus 19. Here we must know the square of 19. Okay, 19 square is 361. Here we must know here. So plus 19. So add to 25. 25 plus 19. Plus 19 is somewhat typical. So I will take plus 20 minus 1. That is very very easy. Plus 20 is 45. Minus 1 is 44. Like this I will take. So here 44. To add 19 or 18. If we add, if we want to add 19. So let's add 20 and subtract 1. If we want to add 18. Add 18 and minus 2. That is very easy way and fastest way. And next here we got a 25 minus so plus 19 is 44. And 19 square is just now I told you 361. We need only two, three, two digits. That's why I am writing 3 above 4. And add 4 plus 3. That is 7. 4761 is the square of 69. Like this we can find the squares from 60 to 70. For that, we must know the squares from 10 to 20. Same procedure, we shall find squares from 30 to 40. I will take randomly a number 37, which is nearer to 50. So, 37 is how much lesser than 50? Is minus 13. Here, we must know the square of 13. That is 169. So, I will take 25 minus 13. So, 25 minus 13 is 12. And uh, 13 square is 169. We need same two digits. That's why I'm writing 1 above 2. And add 2 plus 1 is 3. That is 1369 is the square of 37. I'll take randomly another number. 32 which is nearer to 50. And 32 is how much lesser than 50 is minus 18. Here 18 square is 324. Next. Subtract from. 18. Just now I told you to minus subtract 18. So we take minus 20 plus 2. So 25 minus 20 is 5 plus 2 is 7. So we take 7 and 18 square. What is 18 square? 3 24. That is 3 plus 7 plus 3 is 10. 1024. Now let us see the squares which are nearer to 100. Similar method we apply. Here, I'll take a number from 100 to 110. That is, I'll take 103, which is nearer to 100. And 103 is how much bigger than 100 is plus 3. Here, if it is nearer to 50, what you are taking? Always subtract or add it to 25. But here, we add to the number itself. 103 plus 3 is 106. 106. And 3 square is 9. I am taking, I am writing 0, 9. 1 or 3 square is 10,609. Next, I will take another number, 1 or 7 square, and which is nearer to 100. And 1 or 7 is how much bigger than 100? Plus 7. Always add to the number itself, it is nearer to 100. 1 or 7 plus 7 is 114, and 7 square is 49, like this. So we can find the square of 1 or 7 is 11,449. Now I'll take another number which is between 90 to 100. So I'll take 98 and which is nearer to 100. And how much uh, lesser than 100 is minus 2. And always uh, subtract or add it to the number itself. It is nearer to 100. So 98 minus 2 is 96. And 2 square is 4. Here we need 2 digits same way. That's why I'm taking 0, 4. And I'll take another number 93 and which is nearer to 100 and which is less than 7 okay so 93 minus 7 how do we subtract minus 7 or minus 8 or minus 9 here first 93 minus 7 but I'll do minus 10 plus 3 it's very, very easy and fast way and minus 93 minus 10 is 83 plus 6 is 
86. Like this, we can do first. And so 93 minus 7 is 86. And 7 square is 49. 8649 is the square of 93. Like this, we can find squares from 100 to 110 and as well as 90 to 100. Now we shall see squares from uh, uh, 110 to 120 and 80 to 90. Here the same way when we, uh, when we have seen the numbers nearer to 50. Here we need to know the squares from 10 to 20. So I will take a, a number randomly 112 and which is nearer to 100 and how much we go plus 12 but is nearer to 100 we add or subtract to the number itself. So 112 plus 12 is 124 and 12 square is 144. Here same we need two digits that's why I am writing y 1 above 4 and add 4 plus 1. So we get 12,544 is the square of 112. And I'll take another example 117 square. Here which is also nearer to 100 and plus 7 plus 17. Here we must know the square of 17. Square of 17 is 289. Now 117 plus 17 is 134 and 17 square is 289. So we need two digits. That's why I'm writing 4, 2 above 4 and add 4 plus 2, 6. That is 13,689 is the square of 117. Now we shall take uh, numbers from 80 to 90. Randomly I am taking a number 87 which is nearer to 100. How much less than minus 13? We always uh, subtract from 87. What is 87 minus 13? First subtract uh, 10. 77 minus 3 is 74. So 13 square is 169. Here we need two digits. So 7569 is the square of 87. And take another number. 84 square here we take 100 as base same and how much lesser minus 16 subtract from number itself first to minus 20 same way 84 minus 16 to subtract 6 minus 16 I'll do first to minus 20 plus 4 which is very quickly and easily we can do it 84 minus 20 is 64 plus 4 is 68 this is very easy way and faster fast way and 84 minus 16 is 68 and 16 square is 256 so here we get 56 and 8 plus 2 is 10 and 6 plus 1 is 7 7056 is the square of 84 here we have seen uh, three tips to find squares the first one the numbers end with the, the digit 5 and the numbers nearer to 50 and numbers nearer to 100 this we can find the squares from 30 to 70 and 80 to 120 if you know more uh, about uh, 120 about so to find 120 above or 60 to 70 we need the squares from 20 to 30 so we can apply the same method so how do you find the squares from 20 to 30 we have another uh, tip I'll take 23 square if you want to find 23 it's better to learn up to 25 but if you forget we can find we have a method so which is nearer to 20 how much bigger than 20 is plus 3 23 square so 23 plus 3 is 26 multiplied by 2 here always add to the name same number and double it so we get 52 and write down here 52 and 3 square is 9 here we need only one digit the previous uh, the numbers and uh, nearer to 50 and nearer to 100 we need two digits but here we need only one digit now I'll take uh, another number 27 and which is nearer to 20 plus 7 27 is bigger than 20 so how much plus 7 so 27 plus 7 is 34 you have to double it Multiply by 2, we get 68. Here, write down 68. And 7 square is 49. Here, we need only 1 digit. Just now I told you. So, add 8 plus 4. So, 9, 12, 7. 729 is the square of 27. So, if you know the squares uh, from 20 to 30, we can find the squares 
from 70 to 80. For that one we need uh, the squares from 20 to 30. We can apply that uh, nearer to 20 method again. Okay. And now I will take uh, the number 77 square and which is nearer to 100 and which is lesser than 100 is uh, minus 23. So we have to subtract from 77. How do we do? First uh, subtract 20. So what do you get? 57. Again minus 3. 54. And 23 square is 529. We can apply that a different method which is nearer to 20 method or you can buy hard. 529. So the answer is 5929. 5929 is the square of 77. Square of 73 square. And which is nearer to 100. And which is how much lesser? Minus 27. So how do you subtract nearer to 30? So 73 minus 30 plus 3. So we do like this. So which is the easiest way? 73 minus 27 is somewhat typical. So minus 30 plus 3. So first minus 30 is what? 43. Plus 3 is 46. Like this we can do easily. Now 46. And 27 square is we can apply nearer to 20 method here. So 7, 29. So the answer is 29. 6 plus 7 is 13. 5329 is the square of 73. Like this we can find the squares from 70 to 80. And taking which is nearer to 100 method. And we must know the squares from 20 to 30. Now let us see the squares from 120 to 130. Here we must know the squares from 20 to 30. I will take a number 123 which is nearer to 100 which is how much greater? Plus 23. 123 plus 23 is 146. And 23 square is 529. So 29. 6 plus 5 is 11. 4 plus 1 is 5. 1. 15,129. And I will take another number 127 square and which is nearer to 100 and plus 27 so 127 plus 27 is uh, 154 and 27 square is 729 so the answer is 29 7 plus 4 is 11 6 1 16,129 is the square of 127 so like this we can find the squares from 120 to 130 also above 120 also in next video, we shall see some more tips in speed maths. Subscribe my channel for more videos. Click on bell icon for my new videos notifications. Okay, thank you for watching.